so first of all for those who don't know the phishing phishing is actually creating a, a fake presentation of a legitimate module and scam the users to steal sensitive information for uh, such as uh, bank accounts details Welcome to Global Information Security Society for Professional of Pakistan. Hello everyone. My name is Osama Elahi. I'm a cybersecurity researcher. I have 3 years of experience in cybersecurity, especially in offensive security. Today I welcome you all in Global Information Security Society for Professionals of Pakistan. I will talk about towards advanced phishing and bypassing multi-factor authentication. So today I will uh, tell you about some unique techniques uh, that you can use uh, to bypass phishing detection mechanisms and uh, some new ways to bypass multi-factor authentication. So this is the outline of my presentation. First I would like to give you the introduction and then the, we will discuss about problems their solution and then uh, mfa and then the use of mfa in uh, offensive security and then there's a experiment how we can bypass mfa with some unique uh, techniques okay so first of all for those who don't know the phishing phishing is actually creating a, a fake presentation of a legitimate module and scam the users to steal sensitive information for uh, such as uh, bank accounts details mostly this practice is used by black hat hackers but there are some uh, white hat use of this uh, like the red team are used and then the second term is offensive security it is actually a proactive uh, practice done by offensive security experts or red teamers to test the security of uh, computers and networks okay so now Uh, i would like to give you uh, the information about the problems that uh, offensive security market is facing uh, whenever red teamer access phishing vectors on organization personnel google flags the campaign as misleading so if you belong to cyber security field you must have uh, heard this uh, red flag uh, red flag uh, page whenever you access the uh, phishing domain or phishing link you will see the red flag which is actually blocked by google so this is actually big problem for offensive security uh, experts when they uh, when they test the awareness of the organization employee they also seen this uh, red flag red flag the second problem is actually existing methodologies for bypassing the uh, phishing detection are outdated and insufficient because false web detection involves static analysis automation and artificial intelligence so google is now emerging uh, uh, very rapidly and uh, they they are using actually artificial intelligence to scan the phishing content the phishing uh, page uh, and then they block the uh, that link the domain actually the full domain actually go deceptive the third problem is adopting completely autonomous adversarial technique is required to combat the emerging cyber attacks so there is no uh, fully fully functioned uh, autonomous model that can uh, be used by offensive security experts or red teamers who can bypass the uh, whole detection mechanism okay so now since we know the problems Uh, let's talk about some solutions so these are five um, main category solutions that we can use you can apply filters on the campaign like uh, region filter location filter uh, user agent filter we will talk about it in the next slide analyze the every request if it is coming from unknown resources so every red team are actually uh, filter the the uh, the, uh, the page according to the location if it is not doing it it may be a bad 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 practice the third solution is making campaign more specific to target 
the fourth is pick domain name wisely and the fifth is use some keyword to match the original domain so if a red teamer actually uh, uh, create a fake uh, domain for uh, let's say for bank it may use uh, it may use uh, some keywords that uh, cause this uh, domain uh, deceptive so we have to watch that also okay so now i will tell you about some experiments when i was researching on this problem so i create actually a fake uh, a fake page of facebook and uh, apply all my analysis and uh, findings uh, you will i will uh, share it with you so here you can see uh, the domain name is something that is hidden and the subdomain is authorization dot validation we can uh, we can actually uh, create a subdomain facebook dot com dot something uh, else dot com dot or dot dot main domain dot com and then you can see uh, actually uh, here I I use the token if you use this token uh, it will uh, appear uh, the fake page otherwise it will uh, block your IP uh, I will and uh, you will not see this page again. Even with the correct uh, token. Okay, so at first what I did was that I I create this domain and on index.php actually I record all the IPs and user agent to uh, for the research purposes. And uh, when I uh, record I, all IPs and uh, I actually then uh, scan my domain on almost every online free scanner uh, which scan the url for phishing so uh, this is actually a good uh, technique if you are uh, into phishing uh, bypassing so these are the 10 uh, domain that i use to uh, scan my uh, domain keep in mind my domain uh, does not have any phishing content uh, so far but it is recording the user agent and ips which i will block uh, them later Okay, so when I uh, scan only in 10 domains, uh, I captured almost 250 results, almost 250 results. So here I uh, research, I have, I gathered some uh, interesting data. Let me tell you about it. So at, at first, uh, in first image, you can see uh, I captured a user agent and IP and uh, on entry number 16 you, and 15, you can see the user agent is actually Google bot. Okay. So on second image, here you can see uh, the some keywords used like HTTP code dot Google and uh, app engine Google. And on third image, you can see the spider bot actually scan my domain. Uh, and on the fourth image, you can see Python request. So no, no normal user have actually this type of uh, user agent when they uh, browse in their domains. In the fifth image, you can see Python ask and in the sixth, you can see Apache client uh, 5.2.1.2. Okay, so here I noticed something uh, very interestingly. Uh, if, what if we block these type of uh, keywords in our domain and then we use the, the fake uh, fake login of uh, Facebook. Uh, what will happen? Okay. So after uh, finding after find uh, combining all these um, uh, uh, methods and techniques that I can use uh, to uh, to defend my uh, fake page against Google or any other security vendor, I come up with some some very good techniques. So let's start with old data. Here you can see I captured uh, almost 250 entries, which is actually old data. So I will block all of uh, them, uh, actually IPs. So whenever IP with this uh, 91.134.197.233, if it comes from this IP, it will not see my phishing page. It will go uh, somewhere else or uh, maybe I redirect it to the Google. So this is my first technique, which is old data filtering user on the basis of blocked user. So actually there is actually a database of blocked IPs. The second technique is uh, also interesting. It is user agent filtering. 
so as we already seen there are some special keywords that was uh, uh, very suspicious to us so so we will we will check if uh, if our user agent if a request uh, is coming with this user agent who contains some specific keywords like for example http or if it if it contains the bot bot of it, or if it contains google will block them will uh, uh, redirect them somewhere else somewhere to google or uh, maybe facebook.com because normal user if we see at uh, user agent user agent is actually identification of request normal user don't have this type of uh, uh, user agent who contains http keyword or uh, google or bot okay so the next technique is captcha filter this is also very interesting uh, technique we actually uh, place a captcha on our fake uh, page every everybody who come on our page has to solve the captcha to see the fake page so now let's imagine if a bot is coming on our page but uh, he can't see the uh, fake page he is actually seeing the uh, captcha so he he can't actually uh, solve that captcha because he don't have that uh, human capabilities so it is actually bot against bot so if every if user uh, come on the page he may solve this captcha by using his human capabilities and he will be uh, redirected to fake page which is a, a fake login of facebook so next technique is region filter it is also very important filtering user on the basis of their location for instance uh, if a red teamer uh, uh, start a campaign which is specific to uh, one city he he should not allow other cities location to come and uh, uh, browse them or use them he should block all other location or other uh, cities as well okay so this is the next technique which is honey pot uh, it is a, it is very interesting technique that we discover in our research placing dummy links on the page which are invisible to user so uh, you may heard of some scrapers and crawlers uh, google actually use these scrapers and crawlers to scan the domain the full uh, full content of the domain so what happen here is whenever scraper start scraping the uh, content of the page it actually goes through every link whether it is hidden in the page or it is shown so what we did we uh, we actually place invisible links uh, a normal user cannot see it but a crawl crawler actually see it because it goes through every uh, link so whenever he a crawler click on that link goes to land, that link his ip will get blocked blacklisted and uh, on the next move he can't see any any of the phishing com, uh, content and he will be actually redirected to somewhere else so this is also very interesting technique that we discover in our uh, research okay so now now just imagine we if we use all of these uh, techniques in only one page like if uh, if you see on the picture if if a user or a clocker or bot or scanner or even a scraper come to our page so let's let's assume if uh, he uh, if he is not blocked uh, previously so he will be uh, our solution actually check uh, whether it uh, contains any if, if its user contain user agent contains any specific keyword keyword like uh, http or bot or even uh, google or even bedu and then if if he uh, manage to pass this he will uh, over actually solution checks uh, the screen width and height now this is actually uh, also very interesting uh, filter that we use uh, over solution will check if uh, if uh, a coming request is has uh, some normal screen width and height if it is uh, true then it will go to some next uh, filter otherwise it will uh, get itself blocked the next technique is a uh, captcha as we already discussed uh, uh, the page will show captcha if you solve that captcha you will see the fake page if you don't solve that captcha you will be redirected to blacklisted uh, 
uh, IP and uh, you will be redirected to Google or somewhere else. And then the old scanner filter and then there is region filter and then honeypot. Uh, after, after applying all these redirection, managing all these uh, redirection, if, uh, if we place all these techniques uh, 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 very, in a very good manner, it it may it uh, over campaign actually uh, can be safe almost uh, uh, for almost actually two weeks uh, of when we ex perform experiments we were managed to uh, to save over domain for two weeks which is actually a good time uh, every campaign actually ends in almost uh, in almost a, uh, one week actually okay so. So there are solutions uh, which can uh, uh, which can detect the MF uh, uh, phishing page. So let's imagine if uh, an organization. Uh, so let's uh, uh, take a uh, look at uh, example of Outlook. Now there is a actually a big uh, problem for attackers to uh, uh, to create a fake page of Outlook. See if there. Uh, because there, there are actually a lot of steps involved. Uh, if uh, attacker want uh, a victim to, uh, uh, if attacker want to steal the correct and uh, uh, all tokens of victim. So MFA, it is actually authentication method which requires two or more verification factors like uh, one time passcode. Which comes in, which comes into your phone, and you will place that uh, into your login content, and then you will be allowed, or you will be privileged to uh, watch the uh, logged in session. There are actually uh, three main types, uh, which is standalone OTP, mobile, uh, hardware OTP, and touch to verify, where you actually touch on from your phone, and you will be verified from your browser. Okay, so at first, uh, I would like to uh, give you some uh, information about some old tools uh, which are which have been using uh, to bypass multi-factor authentication. The first tool is Evil Jinx. It is very, very professional tool uh, when it comes to bypassing MFA. It is actually a man-in-the-middle tool, uh, uh, specifically designed in Go language. Uh, to steal the uh, credential and session cookies for any web service. So every attacker who want to use this have to create a, a fish alert of every new domain and configure it and then use it. The second uh, tech, the second tool is Mordelishka, which is uh, which is also very interesting. Okay, so now I will come to uh, this uh, over over proposed technique uh, which we. Uh, actually create it is it is actually bypassing the uh, multi-factor authentication of uh, microsoft outlook account and then take over to the whole office account so we create actually afford tool which is a combination of office plus node uh, makes afford afford is, afford is actually the poc of uh, uh, of how a attacker can bypass uh, the multi-factor authentication and uh, it use actually browser automation so it is uh, as you can see in the picture so here we set all the uh, afford setup and uh, it actually behave like a man in the middle and uh, it will have a one link which will be sent to a normal user or a victim when he visit it he will see the sign in page uh, when he will put his its uh, credential into it and uh, hit the next so on the server it actually automate all the responses to real domain so actually we uh, there are actually uh, tools that can that can be used for browser automation like you may heard of uh, selenium and uh, uh, we use playwright tool and uh, we perform a whole automation uh, which we name then in uh, evil automation. So, so let me give you the uh, demonstration of our tool, uh, which we built to bypass the multi-factor authentication of Outlook, which actually uh, automate all the responses of victim into the browser uh, and on the, on the server browser. 
and then uh, play that response uh, on the end side, client side. So let's take a look at our tool, which is uh, totally built in uh, Node.js. So at first we start this, uh, actually I'm uh, using all the responses and all client and server size on the local host. So let's visit the domain. Okay, so here you can see, uh, this is actually the fake page of Outlook. We'll send uh, this to the victim or uh, any uh, you normal user. When a normal user see it, it will uh, put its email here. So I created the one for testing. Okay, so when he click on the next, it the uh, server actually open a new browser and it will automate all that response in the browser. Okay, so when I give him the wrong uh, password, he will copy all the uh, response and uh, uh, perform the automation in the on the legitimate server. And when I give him the right password, so, so here you can see it is asking for a verified number and it is also showing the same message on the uh, client side. So let me give him, we will send a verification code to this number to verify this, place your phone number and enter the last four digits. So let me give him the last four digits. As you can see it all uh, automate all the response. And here you can see the same response. Uh, this is actually legitimate uh, site and it is actually a fake site and it is all happening in the server side and it is the victim side. Okay, so I get OTP from Microsoft. Let me place it here. Three, nine, three. Let me give him the wrong OTP. Yeah, here you can see this code didn't work. So as you can see, it 100% replicates the browser response. So this is the correct OTP. So after uh, bypassing all uh, this MFA, uh, as we can see, on the server side, it will be redirected to office.com. And on the uh, client side, also office.com. But uh, here uh, it is not uh, logged in in the browser, as you can see. But on the server side, if you'll see here, we can actually access Outlook and all other services that is it logged in. Uh, and now we are using it like a real user. So this afford tool actually also intercept the session cookies also and save in, in the file. So this was all about the Ford. Uh, as you can see, we can uh, actually automate all of our, all of the uh, client uh, responses in our browser, and we can bypass the multi-factor authentication with this technique. So at the end, I want to thank you all for listening, and actually I want to uh, thank GSS, GSPP for arranging this uh, presentation. If you have any queries, uh, you can ping me at uh, this email or you can connect me on the uh, following link you can see on the screen. So thank you.